them on the other side of the loser's bracket. Who put Charlie into losers already? Uh, Eon. Oh, okay. 3-0 nonetheless. Right. Eon actually kind of has Charlie's number. Yeah, and this is actually going to be really scary for Captain Andrew. He has to approach and the more times he hits, ooh, that was actually a really yeah. interesting setup. That was a good air dodge read, but he managed to like air dodge, air dodge through now. it anyways. Yeah. I've, Captain Andrew's pressure so far has been really great though against uh, Pitbull. Finally able to get back to stage, but 77% to answer now. See, and this is going to be the difficulty is if Pitbull stands there charging um, the Aura Sphere with his back to him, Andrew can't spin dash in on right, him. Right, yeah. Because spin dash pretty much gets beat out by like any hitbox. Yeah, and, it's... and the fact that it's just like out there, it, if he does run into it, he's going to get comboed into like an up smash or a back air. Up yeah, air. something interesting that a lot of people don't actually know about Sonic is he's only in... It's a... Spin Dash is a very, very vulnerable move. It has a few frames of invincibility when he does the little hop, mm -hmm. but after that, you can hit him with whatever you want. Yeah. And if it's weak enough, it either just clanks or it just straight goes through and hits Sonic. Yeah, people are very, like, scared of Sonic because of his, like... His, honestly, like, his... The best thing that Sonic has is his, just his run speed. His ability to just get in and get out. Other than that, like, you could trade with him or just, or just punish everything else. And this is actually bad for Pitbull. He keeps getting trapped at the ledge here, but all this aura is not something to be laughed at, you know? He yeah. could actually kill Andrew with anything. Yeah, this is essentially a, a dead even game. And the shield break That's with the, the aura stop. sphere, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. Where did, he didn't even fly, he just evaporated. And that's really unfortunate for Captain Andrew. He had such a big lead there, but he just didn't respect the aura spheres and got a shield break off of it. Yeah, see, it doesn't really matter that Sonic actually has all this uh, ability to, to run in and out because Pitbull doesn't care. He's just staying away, charging his fear. That's pretty much how the the match has gone the and past I, two and a half minutes, really. Oh, that's it. Up Smash actually almost killed him at like 40. Back is going to kill him. Crazy. He barely took any percent after taking that first stock. Yeah, and that's so unfortunate for Captain Andrew. You know, he had such a good first stock, such a big lead. Yeah. And then he got hit just a few times, and that's enough to seal him out. And that's just the nature of, like, Lucario. It doesn't really matter how big of a lead you have because, like, unless you're a stock up, you're probably in kill a losing, yeah, a losing scenario. You're probably in kill percent because of the aura mechanic. And yeah. stacking on top of Rage. Yeah, it's so crazy that he basically has two different rewards for losing in this game. Which is kind of crazy. It definitely racks up some nutty early kills. Captain Andrew's really going to have to focus on how he approaches this set, though, because... <coughs> excuse me. Because he can't just rely on Spin Dash. He's got to be able to mix up his recovery, get some grabs in. Because that's really where his damage is going to come from, is getting these grabs. Yeah, Pitbull making really good use of these downers. He's either using it to stall his landing onto the stage, or just straight up like beating uh, Spin Dash. It's kind of a lingering move, so yeah, not a bad idea. And Pitbull's combos have actually been really solid in this set. You know, we saw him go for like downer and there. I didn't even know that worked. That's the other thing I have to commend Pitbull on is some of these things. Like once you start getting rage and war, your combos become a lot more different. But uh, F Smash gonna catch Captain Andrew trying to fall back onto the stage. And only 65%. This is super critical. Like, it, it, it's gonna be a tough climb for Captain Andrew right now. He's Lucario's only have taken 65%, so he he's still can afford getting hit, and he's in no danger of dying. Yeah, honestly, 70% is a pretty good place to be against. Um, Andrew or yeah. Sonic in general because there's not a lot he can do but to just kill you. Especially when you're a stock up too. You know, and Sonic's approach options are actually pretty limited. You know, he has his spin dash, he has his um, down B. I don't know what the difference between them that much is aside from you have to like mash this turn. It's the, um, uh, I think the invincibility frames are a little bit different. Like one is on startup and one is at the end or something like that. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I forgot. He, you know, he has, he runs in and grabs you, he 
runs in, or he spin dashes at you and you shield it. And it's very obvious which one he's going to do. You know, Pipple really doesn't have to do anything. He tries to end it all with the up smash. Yeah, see, Pipple's just uh, content with, like, sitting back, letting Captain Andrew hit, his, hit him with spin dash on his shield and trying to get a proper punish out of shield. She's honestly like... At this point, he doesn't even have to punish Andrew for hitting his shield. He can just be content to him. wait there. You know, if Andrew does the wrong option out of, or out of the spin dash on his shield, he dies. Uh, but Andrew can just kind of side the into him, spring right away, and then just down her, no lag, and then run away. But that's not going to win him the set, and at this point, Pitbull doesn't have to do anything at all. Right. Really. You know, he just has to play this patiently, get a few hits, one more hit to kill. Wow, nice. That was actually really smart of Pitbull, knowing that the homing attack would go over the ledge. Jumps up, throws up the backer, and Andrew has nothing he can do about it, just goes straight